Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the 55 gallon bin. Just wanted to show you something. They do tend to push things out that they don't like, and I think maybe shredding some envelopes or some little plastic, but you will find it pushed up to the top, and uh, if you pay attention, you can oftentimes just grab this up without having to wait until you sift it. So, good light and a little bit of patience and a lot of your troubles will actually come right up to the top for you. Alright, now last time we did some serious fluffing on here. So let's see. Nope. They are still not moving down. What do you guys think about this? This is so crazy. I can't even remember when I started this bin. Um, these castings look great, though. Look at that. If I wanted to, I could completely just come over here and sift this, get what I needed. But, you know, it's getting to be September right now, and I don't really need any more castings at this point. At least not until I go and start moving my bonsais and whatnot back in the house for the winter. Which is not happening yet because it's 100 degrees outside. So everything looks like it's progressing really good. Banana stem. Yeah, so even though they are enjoying this bin, I'm not really sure I'm enjoying this method. <laughs> It's like, okay, guys, it's been six months. Move this way. Um, I haven't fed on this side since I don't even know when. And yet, here they are, mucking about in the end that hasn't had any food for three or four months. Worms are going to do what they're going to do. I, I say that. People are like, should I do this? Should I do that? You know, how can I make them do this? Uh, you can only, you can lead a worm to water, but you can't make them drink. Um, and that is certainly the truth. Okay, he's going in the right direction. Good worm. This worm's going in the wrong direction. Just don't know. Alright, well, I am going to put you up on the tripod here, and we're going to look at the leading edge okay. of this bin. So, I'm going to take off the bubble wrap. And you can see how great this is. Look at all those the castings on top. So they are certainly making quick work of everything here, but let's see if we can find any food. So they are making progress. Microwaving at first does help. Certainly doesn't go as fast as normal food, but I think that's an unreasonable expectation. Just looking at all the large food items that are left over here. Trying to grow me an avocado forest. I think they're well intended, these worms, but this is Illinois. I don't have room for it in my house, for sure. But it looks like we've got some corn silk, corn leaves, uh, tomato or pepper, one of the two. Lots and lots of worms. I'm not seeing anything in particular as far as the food goes, though. Avocado. Nope. Mango. Mango. Almost looks like a maple key, I think. It's been a little over a week, so whatever I fed them must not have sustained the population too much. Because I'm really not, except for the few little corn-related items, not seeing anything in here. All right, well, we will give them some food and get them back moving again. It's, it's probably been a little, maybe a little over a week. 
So let's see what we can get them. So I'm going to use the compostable bags as a bottom for this. And then I'm just going to pour in. This one hasn't been microwaved yet, so I'm not going to get any worms in there. Did not remember to do that. Looks like we got some paper, some apples, oranges. Just kind of cover all of that up. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give them some more leaf bedding. Uh, in anticipation of the leaves falling off the trees, I'm going to need that barrel, so I'm going to go grab some leaf bedding. So here is my leaf bedding after it's been sitting in a barrel since last fall. It really doesn't look like bedding at all, does it? This actually looks like finished worm compost. In fact, you can even see that I have some outdoor worms that must have came along in on the, the leaves. But I am going to continue to use this up as if it were normal bedding. Because I've got to make room for the new leaves when they start falling off. And they're already starting to turn, even though it is clearly not fall yet. So this portion is going to look very much more finished than the other one at the same age because of the, the leaf bedding being so broken down from last year. But I'm going to move everybody back down to where they're supposed to be, cover everything up. We don't want to encourage fruit flies because of all the apples and everything that we have. Got a little wayward uh, roller roly-poly here. Get back in the bin and do your work. All right, guys. Well, if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.